we're so selfish nowadays because of how much interaction we can get from other people, how much approval we can get from other people, whether that's likes, comments. But that's the exact problem with most of you guys is that you seek approval from everyone except yourself. You think the approval from others, that makes your achievements real. That is very wrong because you have to understand that only you can determine what your ceiling of potential is. The reason why most people don't have the same excitement you have about your goals is because they don't have an emotional investment. They don't have the same amount of emotions that you invested into your goals, the same amount of actual dedication, desire to achieve your goals that you have. And that's because people are innately selfish. They have their own shit going on that isn't impacted by you, that they deal with on a daily basis. They don't care really about your goals unless it benefits them. That's when, when you first introduce an idea of you achieving a goal, they get excited. They're like, oh, yo, tell me more, tell me more, because there's a small change it's a small possibility that whatever you have going on for yourself can benefit them that's the only reason why they get excited but after you tell them they're like oh okay cool and it also makes them look in the mirror and say what am i doing to get to my goals what what goals do i have and most people they don't have goals so of course they're not going to have the same excitement that you have they don't understand the importance of what you're doing and when they don't understand the importance they're not going to be excited so when you have that non-mutual unreciprocated excitement it is basically a denial of approval and approval that's something we've got from our parents from our girlfriends and that's even more problematic because most guys who are missing some type of approval you're more prone to seek it from others but also there's some guys who are already accustomed to not being approved they just seek it inward and that's where you level up that's when you start thinking more and more about the higher achievements that you can actually achieve instead of thinking about okay, I achieved this, but how do I get other people to approve of it? Instead of thinking that way, you would think more so about the future. How do I get to the next goal? How do I get to the vision that I have for myself that no one else has? The only vision that's for myself is the one that I have, and therefore the only approval I need is my own. So once you reach that point, you start to level up, you start to evolve as a man. Once you get comfortable with being alone, you evolve as a man. This is why monk mode is so powerful, because you become more comfortable with your own self, your own ideas, your own thoughts, and you hold yourself accountable to the higher achievements that you want to achieve instead of telling others about your goals and them not having the same amount of energy and then all of a sudden you're discouraged you're disappointed that they didn't have the same energy that you had and, and that's why you cannot tell people everything so an important remedy to this is delayed gratification delayed gratification allows you to delay the approval of certain objectives certain achievements and the purpose overall is to allow your goals and your achievements to unfold to unravel see when you achieve a goal you do not want to get comfortable but when you start telling people shit about your life and they do give you the approval you start to get comfortable because you got the approval now you forgot about your own approval now you forgot about the other goals that you have set for yourself now you become complacent now you become comfortable and you become less urgent once you become less urgent you become less productive and once you're less productive you start to achieve less you start to see less rewards less results less outcomes undesirable outcomes and that is the problem when you lose that urgency everything starts to fall off including your own mindset because you see yourself starting to fall off and you don't want to acknowledge why because when you were seeking approval from others it felt so good there's no way that that was the cause of your demise cause of your lack of productivity when in reality it was the exact cause because you did not put your approval above others you probably went out with friends drinking whatever you start telling people about your achievements it felt good in the moment right but you still you still got shit to do bro so why not keep yourself in the monk mode the, the grind mode whatever you want to call it until you've done double what you set out to do at first why stop why? If you're in a race, if you're in a marathon, why would you stop? Were you gonna take pictures with, with people on the side, on the sidelines? You keep going, you don't fucking stop unless you your legs break or you pass out. And with delayed gratification, you gotta know what steps are ahead of you, what obstacles lay in front of you, what challenges, what goals lay in front of you. And the best way to do that is to stay five steps ahead. And I tell a lot of guys, think five years ahead, where do you wanna be? What about a year from now? What about two years from now, three years from now? What plan do you have? What do you want to do with your life, bro? But see, you guys get so comfortable and everyone around you is just telling you to keep, you know, keep partying, enjoy your life, keep drinking, keep fucking women, do whatever, do whatever you want. Forget about the vision you have for yourself. Forget about the things that you want in life. Just, just have fun. Yeah. You have to understand that as long as you utilize your free time, it is going to pay off exponentially. You're going to thank yourself in the future for the work you put in now. But you can't do that when you're constantly going out, talking to people who don't give a fuck about you and people who just give out free approval, free validation. You're just tricking yourself into becoming more comfortable and not thinking far ahead enough to not holding yourself accountable to the mistakes you made. Because when you start your business, whatever, you're going to have 
shortcomings and if you only look at the wins you only look at the profits but you don't look at the shortcomings where you fell short of where you wanted to be you'll never learn what you need to do to improve but we're in denial because the pleasure the approval the validation from others is basically a shield to ignore the real problems real issues that we should be addressing we distract we're so used to distracting ourselves that we never actually see the real problems right in front of us what do we want out of each week out of each month out of each year there has to be a accountability system you have with yourself and it has to be 100 percent honest 100 percent truthful appreciate your progress set your goals weekly monthly yearly have them set out for yourself so that you can keep track you can see how you're progressing and you can appreciate that on your own you can have a journal where you praise yourself you're your, your personal cheerleader give yourself positive talk to encourage yourself even if you don't have parents or friends or a girlfriend to um, cheer you on you can at least yourself on and being content with yourself being able to do that is the best feeling ever because you don't need no one at that point you become self-sufficient self-sustainable so as you appreciate your progress and you achieve bigger milestones it's very important to reward yourself wisely reward yourself with things that don't seek approval from others for example going out to the club are you going to go out to the club every time you make a thousand dollars in a week you're gonna have to dig into your savings to get that vip section every time you you go out to seek approval from others it's just you ignoring or you not giving that kid version of yourself inside in your soul in your heart you're ignoring him you're not giving him the validation that he really wants he wants your your validation your approval not others he wants yours and that's what's best for him it's not it's not, it doesn't matter about what other people think because after you tell them whatever you tell them they're just going to go on with their life they don't care bro. no one cares all that matters is what you think about you you saw how you come from the ground up how no one was with you when you're alone how no one cares about you when you're alone only you know that so when you get to the top when you start climbing to the top only you understand so only you can appreciate it only you can bro i'm telling you that right now that is why i deleted snapchat because it's just it's just bullshit it's the dumbest app to ever exist to post yourself on there with a selfie every single fucking day is stupid it is just you seeking validation from others about what you're doing how you look whatever even tiktok is more informative than fucking snapchat i'll tell you that right now snapchat is the dumbest app delete it but back on track rewards that you are are able to appreciate like buying a cigar smoking a cigar outside going for a walk while you smoke the cigar buying a nice watch taking a walk recording a voice memo to journal to yourself how you you are so glad that you were able to pull through this one thing you're able to achieve a certain amount of income for that month you're able to take care of certain tasks certain challenges certain obstacles and you want to appreciate yourself appreciate your own discipline and perseverance through that but these are all personal things that you have to know that you would appreciate otherwise there's no use so with the proper planning with the proper goal setting with the proper foresight you can lead yourself on a pathway that doesn't require validation from others you're you're always constantly thinking about what's ahead of me. What can I do next? How, how much more time can I put into this to get this done? Your desire for success is always active. It has to be. If you want to become a high value man who has a lot of great things in his life, a lot of rewards, a lot of benefits, you need to be constantly on your purpose. Otherwise, you are just a feather floating in the wind. You are just coasting through life. And that's not going to get you shit because th these little things matter. Making yourself happy with little things that are meaningful to you personally matter. And yeah, I'm, what I'm basically telling telling you is that you have to be comfortable with being alone and if that sounds challenging to you you are probably new to this whole idea of becoming a high value man because this is what a fuck it takes it's only you versus the world you are an independent man if not you're a boy you're a boy becoming a man you're watching this video because you need to evolve and i'm here to help you evolve because it starts here and however i can help you evolve with my mindset with my own insights i will do that i will give you every single gem that i can give you but it, it's up to you to make shit happen it's up to you to figure out what you want to do with your life and how to do it but i do respect you i do commend you for being able to listen to this and look inward instead of outward and that level of self-awareness it is the next step it is the first step for you to enter into this high value mindset and like I said, I respect you. And if you're already on this path of self-discovery, self-mastery, monk mode, just know at the end of this road is a lot of benefits for you. It's a lot of rewards. It's a lot of sighs of relief. <laughs> it's a lot of joy knowing that you put yourself to the test and you came through that you came through everything that everyone else didn't know was possible to come through and people that don't know what you went through they have no clue it is so much more meaningful to know that you came out as a better man but anyway if you enjoyed this video leave a like comment and if you haven't already subscribe but until next time guys peace out fam.